श्री गुरु भ्यो नम टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एड्रेस अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक विच इज अकरिंग करंटली इन दॉस्मोस और इन द स्काई एंड पीपल आर प्लानिंग उपनयना दैट इज द जेनेऊ सेरेमनी एंड विवाह और मैरिज इज ड्यूरिंग दिस पीरियड सो एज पर ज्योतिषा एंड धर्मशास्त्रा there are certain important things which needs to be seen before fixing up the muhurta for a marriage vivaha or a janeu ceremony there are multiple factors but currently what is happening before i explain that you need to understand certain terminologies and certain basic information regarding what i am going to speak today so that you get a full picture so try kindly listen till the end now most of us who are following our vedic anushthanas or rituals we are all known by a particular veda shakha we belong to how is this known our father tells us our grandfather tells us that we are rigvedis we are yajur vedis we are sama vedis we are atharva vedis and that is how in our parampara whatever rituals we are doing we say that since we are yajur vedis according to the yajur veda sutras which are there apastamba bodhayana like that rishis have written sutras or uh, let's say prayoga manuals of how to do what to do for this veda similarly for rigveda there is ashvalayana sutra where this rishi has written how to employ the mantras of rigveda so if you are a rigvedi then you follow this but the important point to know here is that for the four vedas there is a shakha dhisha which means this veda shakha has a adhish or a deity which is there in the cosmos so what are these deities for the four vedas jeeva shukrara saumyaha shakheshaha syuh Brihaspati is the deity or guru we call the planet guru is the devata for rigveda shukra is the deity for yajur veda similarly mangala graha is the shakesha for sama veda and buddha is the shakha for atharvana veda so these are the shakheshas which is brihaspati for rigveda shukra for yajur veda mangala graha for sama veda and buddha graha for atharva veda so when these planets are in a proper position in the universe or in the cosmos we need to determine the muhurta as per that they should be in good places because dharma shastra says that if we plan such kind of functions during the time when these are not in the proper places for that particular veda then the karma doesn't really yield results for example parijate parajite cha niche sthe niche shukre gurau tatha vratinam yadi kurvita sabhavet veda varjitah if shukra guru they have taken example of shukra planet which is the deity for yajur veda and guru or brihaspati for rigveda if they are niche sthe niche which means they are in a very down position or less powerful position and at that time if we perform an upanayana or janeu sarvani the boy will become veda vivarjitah vivarjitah which means he will not be, a, be interested in dharma shastras vedas he will not be interested in any of our spiritual processes followed in sanatan dharma and even if somebody tries to teach him things will not enter his brain at all it's not only about veda but generally nashte shukre athava jeeve niramshe chaiva bhaskarah upanitasya shishyasya jadatvam mrityureva va if shukra graha or brihaspati for these each of these vedas if they go near the sun they become powerless 
because the sun's prakasha is so high or the throw of light is so high that their own power gets dimmed and they become hidden because of the over power of the sun and this happens when the various planets come in a certain angle while they are going around the sun so they get hidden and they are not not seen so in this time and this particular uh, this particular thing is called as combustion in english planetary combustion and in sanskrita it is called as maudhyam or asthamana so we can in hindi we refer shukra tara ast guru tra, guru tara ast like that it is mentioned to so, tara astam or maudhyam or combustion as in english these are situations where these planets closely come in the field of sun and they lose their own power because of the overpowering light of the sun and they are not not in a position to get the karma done successfully because this has to be under the support or guidance of this planets so what happens that if an upanayana is done or janeu is done during the period of this astamana or during this period of maudhya upanitasya shishyasya jadatvam the boy who is undergoing this upanayana ceremony will become jada which means he will he will his mind will totally stop working and he will be like he will behave he will be very poor in terms of grasping any kind of knowledge or ability to understand ability to decide all these kind of things and his life span also decreases this is what has been mentioned and i see in the coming months where these phenomena are going to happen you have people merrily fixing up the upanayana and vivaha people are not to be blamed but the the poor knowledge of shastras is result of all these kind of things nityayane grihe jirne prashan prashananteshu saptasu vadhu pravesha mangalye namaudhyam guru shukrayoho another important things which has been mentioned vadhu praveshe the vivaha or the entry of the girl means vivaha itself or we say like uh, the girl after the marriage is coming to the boy's house this and the mangala karyas or the auspicious thing should not be done in done in maudhyam na maudhyam guru shukra when guru and shukra or these two vedas if they are astamana then or if they are in maudhyam do not do vivaha you skip this period and later on you can do it papagrahe kshite lagne maudhye cha guru shukra yoho uddupakshina kale cha varjayet upanayanam so upanayanam should not be done when papagrahas are present in the lagna of the muhurta as well as maudhya of shukra or guru is happening it should not be done and if the moon is in a lower place uduppa means moon if the moon is not in the proper place in the lagna chart the upanayana should also be avoided kshaya mase adhika mase guru shukras tadau vivaha nishedaha this is another thing if there is kshaya mase or adhika mase which is there as per the hindu calendar which happens frequently even here and even in guru or shukra asta vivaha is nishedha or prohibited you cannot perform vivaha so what will happen because in upanayana we said the boy will become jada jada means it, it, he doesn't understand anything whatever you tell him his power of his mind will go down dramatically to grasp anything in the future and his life span will reduce but in vivaha what will happen the the aim of the vivaha is dharma praja sampadyartham to get children who follow the path of dharma this is the pradhana sankalpa even in the vivaha that why i am marrying this girl because i want dharma praja who can take our sanatana dharma forward this is the pradhana sankalpa in vivaha this itself will get obstructed if you perform marriages during the period of maudhya now you will ask me when is this maudhya you please see the description box of this video where i have given the dates for all the maudhyas in this particular year whichever maudhya dates are there so this is uh, this is supposed to be one of the maha doshas in muhurta which means in muhurta shastra where you are 
where you are um, calculating the timing of the marriage on a particular day as well as the timing of the upanayana and deciding a particular day in a particular month if this shukra tara guru tara mangala tara buddha tara depending on the vedas the person belongs to should not be planned if it is done then it will have a complete opposite phala of what you are expecting from the function and therefore this should not be done just imagine how many couples who get married during maudhya are childless for years together though everything seems normal but they don't get a child why is it happening it is because the muhurta was not correct the planetary positions definitely have an influence in our life the sun is on the in the cosmos does it have an influence yes we know what is the role of the sun does moon which is a satellite of earth does it have an influence yes it has an influence because of the moon only the waves come on the earth and you know our uh, mind is controlled by the moon this is what our shastra say similarly all the other grahas also control various things so it's very very important that you pass on this important message or a video to all the people whom you know especially those who are conducting upanayana if money goes waste because of the postponement it's okay but children are more important for us we can fix the muhurta after the maudhya is over but not like this where you fix a uh, fix a particular ceremony in a period of maha dosha where you cannot see the muhurta at all when nothing should be done which is auspicious so by forwarding this to as many people you would be educating them of topics which they do not know this will spread awareness and it will help the people following sanatan dharma to follow their dharma effectively and whatever they do will yield phala namo namah